The following is a community access program. Shaw is proud to support local producers and share local voices, ideas, and opinions. For more information, please visit shawtv.ca. Opinions expressed in this programming do not necessarily reflect the views of Shaw or its employees. And hello there, we are shooting Card Reads by Annie right here live, well not really live but sort of on location at All That Is and we're going to have the owner of the store Yvonne Panette speaking here with us shortly about some rocks and some crystals. I just quickly want to say thanks for everybody, uh, to everybody who gives us a hand with the show uh, every single episode. Um, I couldn't do this without everybody so thank you. Um, no matter what my cards will produce, you still have to make your own choices. My cards can just show you different choices sometimes or maybe heads up on things that you need to do. Um, but you do still have to make all your own decisions. Okay, so hello Yvonne. You're here to talk to us hello, today Anne. about some rocks and things. You also dressed me today, so I thank you very <laughs> much. Very beautiful. Not physically she didn't, but she kind of picked and pointed. Okay, let's just get that clear right now. But I do thank you. Every single week you give me a beautiful wardrobe to wear. So. So I'm going to talk a little bit about crystals. Crystals are my favorite. I love the, the crystals and rocks, I think, ever since I was a child. Um, I brought a little bit of my gravel pit. I don't call it a collection anymore. It is now my gravel pit because I have lots of rocks. I love the energy of stones. Uh, everything is energy. Even color holds a vibration and a frequency. So um, a lot of people use uh, stones for like gridding or for healing. There's different purposes, different properties to the stones. Um, anybody starting a uh, collection, for example, I always suggest amethyst, with, which is a healing stone. Uh, the rose quartz is an emotional healer. Okay, so this was our amethyst. Don't be yeah. shy, come on in. <laughs> this would be our amethyst. I use that a lot myself. Uh, rose quartz is the emotional healer. And then a uh, crystal, like I do have a crystal ball, different oh, yes. form. So this one that's here. A, uh, clear quartz, so that's the master healer. Um, anybody start a collection, I also suggest a selenite. Selenite is self-cleansing and it also clears the negative energies from other stones. So you can put the selenite in the center and all your other stones around and it helps clear the, the energy. Um, another way to clean stones is also, uh, some people put them out on the moonlight or bury them in the ground, let Mother Earth clean them. Or for those of us who do Reiki, charge use, them with yeah. Reiki. Yeah, and in, in Reiki, people use them for uh, balancing your energy meridians or your chakras. So that's where the colors come in, like down this line here. Um, so you have one for each each chakra. Okay. So right now I have a red jasper for the root chakra, a carnelian for the uh, sacral chakra, the citrine is for the solar plexus. One of my favorite stones. <laughs> uh, the rose quartz, of course, for the heart chakra, uh, lapis lazuli for the throat chakra, amethyst for the third eye, and the selenite for the crown. Nice. So with working with, with uh, Reiki, using them in Reiki, it's like setting a grid on your body and just kind of threading, threading and uh, balancing your chakras. Okay. So something like this, for instance, would you just use that then for decoration or? You can use, in, you can use it for je uh, decoration. I love it when the kids come into the store because right away they're just attracted to the stones. And I just love the look on their face when they pick them up and they can actually feel the energy, feel like a vibration or a throb or, and then that's where we come into play, like it's depending what form you like it in. Like there's the, the rock cage, that's our favorite, is a rock one? cage necklace. This here? Yeah, it's just like a little spring. And you just spread it and you can change your stones. So you can change those on a weekly or a monthly basis yeah, depending on how you're you feel. whatever you're attracted to. I always tell people when they come to the store, look at what store, uh, what stone you're attracted to and then read the paper. And it's like bang on. That's nice. I'll have to try that. You know, I lived in Suris, Manitoba for a while and had permission to go to their agate pit whenever Oliver and I wanted. And you can ask Bruce, but I think I brought home about 40 pounds of little wee rocks, petrified wood, quartz, like tons of it. So I understand the rock pit part. I, mm -hmm. I really do. But yeah, now I'll be quiet and let you continue. 
Oh, I thought that was it. No, 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 no you're not done. <laughs> so the gemstones can come in different forms. Like these are tumbled stones. Like some of these are raw, like selenite. It, it's in the raw form. Um, so is the amethyst. That's also in the raw form. Okay, so what about this rock? That's Himalayan salt. Okay, and what's that good for? That is good for cleaning the negative energy in the air, balances uh, the positive ions with negative ions. So nice. it's good for electromagnetic electromagnetic smog, like from your cell phones, um, like, you know, the frequency of radiation in, in the air. That's what helps clean the air. Yeah, and if we look at my pooch right now, the air must be pretty vegged. clean because he's just kind <laughs> of crashed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, he's just such a good dog today. So, no, by all means. Um, so what are these here? I just put a little collection of the colors. Some people are attracted to them because of the color or the formation. Sometimes you might get a lucky one that's the shapes of four leaf clover or a heart. So um, people just go through them and they just pull which ones they're attracted to. Nice. This is nice. Yep, that's a tur turquoise. So it's a mixture between halite and turquoise. Nice. And what's this one? That is a brand new stone I just got. It's a prey, prey night. Prey night? And my favorite that just got in, I don't know if you'd be able to see it. It's like a little candy dish of rocks. Oh, yeah, I love rocks. If you can maybe show that one on the camera, if you turn it a certain way, it's just like looking at night in the stars. It just kind of oh, sparkles. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I don't know yeah. if you can catch that or not, but I can. It's very cool, actually. It's just like looking up at the shimmers. sky at night. Yeah. The stars. So, what do you suggest then? Like people put this under their pillow or they just carry it with them like this or Yeah, there's different properties you do. to all the stones. Everyone's related to a chakra. So for example, like if somebody's having trouble sleeping, amethyst is a good one or rose quartz underneath the pillow to help somebody sleep. Okay. Uh, the Boswana agate, that's kind of the funny marble one there. This one? That one, is, people use that for like addictions. Like, you know, if they want to try and quit smoking, so they can use it like a worry stone, for example. Nice, um, okay. Everybody's always looking for something good luck for a bingo stone, like yeah. green adventuring is a good uh, good one. stone for good luck because it's we'll green, need that green next money. Time we play. <laughs> um, for business owners, they suggest citrine in the till. So if your sales are down, throw some citrine in your till. That's the center one. Really? The yellow one. Nice yeah. to know. So I need, I got a whole pile in there now. I have one in my purse. <laughs> let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, a lot of it's set in your intention, like when you're working with stones and gridding. Um, I used to have problems with insomnia. So a friend of mine does grid, grid work with crystals in Kenora when I lived in Kenora. And she told me, put a rose quartz in each corner of your room with a hematite under your bed and just close your eyes and imagine this light going to each corner and crisscrossing underneath your bed and I'm there, yeah, all right, you know, this is all the woo-woo stuff. But I did it. She also gave me an affirmation that I say yes. it, said it every night. And I still say it to this day because it worked. Nice. Um, I am loved and protected. It's now safe for me to relax and sleep. And within two weeks, I was off meds. So, bonus. Aww, <laughs> so here I am awesome. today, spread, okay. spreading the word. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Yvonne, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show today. And like I said, letting us uh, take over your space as often as we oh, do. Oh, I love the energy. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, we're going to take a quick break here, and then we're going to get Kay Marie on the phone, okay? So we will be back with you here shortly. Thanks again, Yvonne. The proceeding was a community access program. Shaw is proud to support local producers and share local voices, ideas, and opinions. For more information, please visit shawtv.ca. Opinions expressed in this programming do not necessarily reflect the views of Shaw or its employees.